I have. Do you have it? Because I didn't bring it in. Yeah, I uh, from the other room, I So it's so Suzanne had up uh, this year uh, Dennis Moore, correct? Right. Paul uh, Sazal as an alternate. Who were the other ones? Though? You mean in terms of fine this year? Yeah. The, one, the name you just read. So according to the town report, we have. Oh, here. Okay. We have um, Dennis Moore, yep. Ron Chabot, Gary Fieldson, and then um, Paul Cezal, Cezal as an alternate. Right? I don't want to write anything. Don't write it. We're, gonna get, we're getting a new one in. That's all new stuff. For, for, active, for members, though, we have Joseph Cowett, Chair, Howard Hammond, right. Harold Foss, right. Dennis Moore, right. Ronald Chabot. Right. Gary Fieldson, and then Paul uh, Cazal as all. You only had five delegates. We have two alternates, Paul Cazal and Gary Fieldson. So Fieldson should have been listed as an alternate. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Maybe that's just, okay. That's. I'm just making sure that we get it right with the town. Because you know, this is a quasi judicial body, so it really has to be accurate. Right. All right. So, all right. So what we are looking at, we have, well, we still have two appointments this year that are up. So it's Dennis Moore and Ron Chap. Are we in agreement on that? Okay. All right. So do we know at least if Ron wants to be reappointed? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we just don't know about Mr. Moore. The question mark is Dennis, right? Right. Okay. If Dennis is, a, if Dennis is, I don't think he's moved out of town. He has strange hours. I don't think he wants to check out. Okay. But he's a very good man. Yeah. Um, so we would uh, bring up Paul, because all of us attended quite a few of our meetings. Yeah. In and uh, and Fieldson uh, did attend one or two. He's had some health issues. Yeah. Over yeah, the past yeah, yeah, years. So. Okay. 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 I, th I think he's doing well now. So from what I understand. Okay, good. Good. Um, so that it's it's a pretty good working body right there. As okay. it is really. Okay, so you would be happy if we if we reappointed at least Ron, and perhaps moved up Mr. Cazal, Paul, and then look for another alternate, or we, 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 we want to try to see if we can reach more first. But right, yeah, okay. yeah, all right. If if you uh, if more is still on, Cazal and Fieldson will stay on as alternates. Okay, we get the notices anyway. Okay, so the things that I have to sit down. Suzanne had a um, a death in the family, so uh, she couldn't. Okay. Suzanne Hewitt had a, yeah. a death in the family, so she couldn't make it this evening. I thought I'd right. try to mess it all up in my verbiage on the email. I just, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. So I was say, we'll fill her in next week when she's back. Okay. And yeah. let her know yeah. that, that, well, it's almost correct. We, yeah. One's an alternate and not a full member, so I think the books should reflect that, too. I mean. Yeah, and I think Jesse Doe's uh, photo would be a very, uh, very good help this book. It is, yep. Yeah. I think so, too. But we want the legislature to pay for it, not us. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comments? If not, we're going to move on to building permits. Right. First one we have. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, the um, certificate of occupancy for um, 5860 South Street. Reed, the, the brick house on the corner of South and uh, Second. Um, remember, we had some concerns about the sidewalk had been damaged. He, oh, did, he replaced the, he re replaced that section. So, it shouldn't, Mr. Uh, Clark sees no reason to uh, to hold it up. So, if we're good with it, I will sign. Yeah. It's not a different coloring, it's the same color. That's taken care of. Next, we have building permit 2017 008 9 Nordic Lane. They are roofing over existing asphalt shingles with synthetic under underlayment. Under, under okay. And um, Standing seam meter roof. 
new drip edge and a rake. Uh, it's going to be twenty-five thousand dollars, by the way. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Clark has reviewed it, so we will grant it. Well, it's by on the first of June. She won't be able to sign it, but it's her corruption. Oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't read that. Twenty four Heritage Drive. Do we know if, if we have uh, the signed budget? We do with a quorum, okay. yes. Perfect, okay. So we can take care of that. The warrant has been set. Are we, um, do we have anything else? Not for tonight. That was okay. the big thing. Those two things are the most important, so. Alright, whatever Jody has left, left in her little, uh, The only thing left in here is that's new is another proposal for um, the boiler, the pump downstairs. Yes, and we're hoping to get three, three. right? So, um, she's not here. I had a question for him. He's not. We'll ask him next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that we may be getting a response yeah. from the uh, road agent. So, okay. any other public right. comments before we close the meeting? <laughs> Are you going into non-public? No. Oh. Meeting started at six o'clock. Okay. We had a much abbreviated agenda for this holiday. So um, he's got one truck in disrepair, which he can drive and use for sanding himself um, if necessary. He's delaying the repair of that until he gets at least one other truck back, but okay. it shouldn't be driven regularly. He's okay. like, it's like a only as absolutely necessary truck. Which one is that, do we know? Um, no, I'm not, I mean, it's not the F-550, so I think the... So one of them's at Rochester Truck, and I think that's the International, but I'm not totally mm -hmm. sure. Okay. All right. Any other questions? All right. It is 
625, and we will adjourn for the evening. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much.